everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam. If you love luxury fashion, they're definitely gonna love my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. So in today's video, we are going to the Getty Center Museum in Los Angeles, California. Now, I'm not really an artsy and museum type of person, but this is somewhere I've never really been before, so why not go and check it out? So without any further ado, let's go to the Getty Center Museum and see what they have. Today is the day for the Getty Center Museum, which I've never been to before, so I'm so excited, but it's gonna be a long day. First, I'm in Mission Viejo. I have to drive up to North Hollywood. Right now, this is actually North Hollywood, and we are on the way to the Getty Center, so we can kind of see how to get to the Getty Center more closer to the area. Now, I will also be the first to say I should have cleaned the windshield, but it did not even occur to me because, you know, I've never been here before, so I was, like, really excited to see what it would be like. Of course, we are on the famous street, which I cannot pronounce it, so I will not try, but this is very famous. Pulling up to the Getty Center Museum, we can see previews of what we will see. I really do love this one, the Van Gogh and the Art and Science of Light. You will see more later on. Now, I had no idea, but when you do arrive, once you park, you have to wait because you actually have to take a cute little, like, train to get there because it's way up the hill so that is just so cute i've never actually been on one of these especially going up the hill and when i went on i was terrified because i'm terrified of heights so it felt like a roller coaster it was just way too high up on arrival to the museum at the very top of the hill you are greeted with this super cute statue now we will be seeing a lot of statues a lot of art i do not know any art terms so this won't be like an educating artsy video walking inside you do have this gorgeous tree which reminds me of this like food court that was near me as a kid in like Southland Mall. Views from inside are absolutely incredible. You can see the entire city of LA and also this giant museum. This is all part of it and we will take a good look at it. But wow, the view was so absolutely like phenomenal. I totally loved it. Even when you zoom in, you can really start to see the city. My date and I did have matching shoes, which is actually really, really cute because it was black and white. I did kind of pick his out so we could match. My date did take this picture, which I wasn't too sure of, but I actually weirdly like it. But in the back is the building. We will be going to see the Van Gogh exhibit, the ultraviolet new light on Van Gogh. And I'm just so excited, but that's the building it will be in. Before I went to Van Gogh, I did see this amazing staircase, which I loved so much. Now, personally, I thought it was like very like religious and then like devil hands was like reaching down on them. But then my friend Chris was like, no, it is 1000% a dove it is not like satanic at all so when you do walk up the stairs you can see all of the details and the details is so cool like i love it but do you see what i mean by like the claws right here this totally looks like claws to me but when you do come up down here you can see that it is kind of a dove you just have to like turn your head to see it so I like my theory better. I think my thought was totally like cooler. You have this one as well, which this one I just thought was like so beautiful with these long white robes. And this was just like so cute. Now I'm not exactly sure what they are doing in here. I don't know if that is like a clock. I think that's like a clock, very like astrology like, but comment down below if you know exactly what it is. Once we get to the very top level, you do get the best view of the city. And honestly, this is so gorgeous. It actually reminds me when I used to live in the hills. I believe it was called La Puente, but there was a special spot there that I would always go to. And it totally had a view like this, especially at night when it was lit up. It was such a beautiful view. We do also get to see the maze garden as well. And the garden was just so phenomenally gorgeous. I loved this so much. Later in the video, we do go down there and it's so cute and we see ducks. Finally at the Van Gogh exhibit, this one is called Standing Woman 1 and I like it. It's like creepy, it's very like horror movie like, but beautiful at the same time. And I don't know, I love it. Like I would totally have this in my foyer by my spiral staircase. We have a lot of beautiful stars in space, very galaxy-like. This one right here, I totally loved. I actually did end up getting a lot of merchandise of this print, which you may see at the end of the video or in an upcoming birthday vlog. Lots of skeletons that they had, but it was around Halloween time that I did come. So I thought that was kind of cool that they did have like Halloween vibes. This long painting right here, I loved it. This was definitely one of my favorites. I looked at it for probably like a good 20 minutes. I did even take a picture close up to it, which you will see soon, but there's just so many things in this photo. Now this spot right here, I loved it for some reason. 
I actually want to print this out and like put it on my wall because it is just so beautiful. Along with this one right here, I love the dresses. And I don't know, something about it just made me feel like very comfortable and at home. We do have the most beautiful Beauty and the Beast clock. Look at the like emperor at the very top of it. Look at the lion in the middle on the cute little cliff. It is just so cool. I would totally buy this in an instant if I could. I love this. We do have some giant Greek statues as well, which are so super beautiful, along with these ones as well. These ones are really cool. I actually love like the creepy goats at the bottom. I would actually totally get this table. More statues, super beautiful. For some reason, I love the color of them. Like, I just love the specific color of marble. It's just very nice to me. This right here was actually very interesting. I did totally love this. It did actually have the cute little, like, portrait that does say, like, what it's about right next to it, too. So I do have that shot, so I will show you right now. Next, we have this table, and this table, I want it so bad because look at, like, the goat at the end of it. I love it. It is just so... Cool. It looks so like demonic actually this table and it's just like so trippy I think this is just such like a cool art piece here We have I think something that says like diva la socialize Possibly I'm not sure but I do think this is supposed to represent like civilization This is so beautiful because you already seen the clock from Beauty and the Beast and now we have the lamp from Beauty and the Beast So can you not see this coming to life? This one right here totally reminds me of like Thanksgiving and like a cute little turkey. This totally reminds me of like turkey vibes. Her 1000% I love. She looks like the princess from Legend of Zelda. And honestly, this dress and the coloring of it, I love it. I would totally buy this one. We do have him, which he looks so realistic. He actually looks like the guy in the movie Murder Mystery. I know he's like the bodyguard. He's the one that was like missing an eye in the movie. But wow, like totally like his twin. This one right here, very cute, very Victorian, very beautiful. Cannot go wrong with that. However, this one right here, I loved it. So much detail and it was very like gospel-like to me. So I totally love this one. It's just so detailed. Another that I really loved was this one right here. And this one is just so great, especially when you zoom into it. I could just like look at these colors like so for so long. And it's just really beautiful. I do love like the emperor up top though. That is like genius. This is very interesting. This is a python fighting a GNU. Don't know what that is, but that is like very sad. But at first glance, it looks like it's just some like weird like demonic creature, but totally like that vibe. This one actually reminds me of an apocalypse. So for some reason, I really like it. It's very like calming, kind of looks like everything was just like wiped out in a way. But I do love like the cute little goats on the cute little like ledges. So I do think that's very beautiful. I'm not sure what this one means. You can pause it and read the little cute thing on the side of it if you would like. Heading to the next exhibit, but you do see this gorgeous view of outside and the cute little courtyard. More gorgeous paintings. And this one, like the color of the castle is just so cute. I love the like pink color of it. That is such a cute castle. Kind of reminds me of Versailles. Here we have sisters, which totally looks like they're sharing an arm. So it gives me like American Horror Story Freak Show vibe. This is my favorite painting because she looks like her husband just died and she is finally now a rich widow. No longer has to deal with his BS. So she looks so happy and just so like ready to just like embrace herself. So honestly, my favorite. She looks like a cute little like swan actually. Like if like a human was like a swan. Like, it looks sad by the pond, you know? Totally the vibe. Here we have another widow as well, but she's a little less rich than the other one, but still very rich. Like, she still has her Rolls Royce, but she just doesn't really show it off. Cinderella here in the blue dress. Personally, I love it. I just think it's so cute and glamorous. I would totally have a princess dress if I could. I should actually get one one day. I think that would be beautiful. And we do kind of get into just like a little bit religion. And this one, I love this one. I think it is so beautiful. Here we have the fall of the rebel angels, which I truly do really love this one. This is so cool. And then you can actually see like towards the bottom, they start to like turn a little like demonic looking. So it's so cool. They actually look like the things in the movie The Descent, those creatures. So that's really cool. This also did bring me a lot of peace. So zooming into that one, it looks so real, especially in person. I was like mind blown by like how real this looks. This one means a whole lot to me because it actually involves Hercules. You know me, I love like my Greek mythology and Greek gods. 
But Hercules, you know, he is so cool. Obviously, I love the movie. But, you know, to see the painting over here, I was like, wow, that's really cool. Here we have the man with the dog. You know, I can't forget the man with his dog. We will now be heading down to the garden. It did get a little less cloudy, so now you can actually see more of the city now that the clouds have gone away. But honestly, I totally love it here. Now we're getting into, like, the art and science of light. And this one was really cool. You can't tell what it is though, because it was like a 3D and they wouldn't show on camera. But if you see this exhibit in person, it, it's great. Now we have a lot of Frankenstein moments, which was amazing because Donnie loves Frankenstein. So this was like personally like his favorite thing to see. And it was just so cute. So, you know, like the happiness on his face was adorable. We'll be going down to the garden now, but we do get to see this cute pond. And actually up there in the bridge is where I took that photo earlier, where I was showing you the courtyard. So, you know, just like a fun fact of where we just were. On the way to the garden, I was honestly very surprised because the statue right here looks like something specific, but it reminds me of Beetlejuice. So it was total Beetlejuice vibes along with this one. So if this one turns into different shapes, at first, it looked like a weird bear or just like a weird person sitting down with their like arms crossed in front of them. But then when you go this way, it looks like a minotaur, half man, half horse. But then when you keep going, it just like turns into like so many weird shapes. Like this one, I don't know what to call this one. This one kind of just looks like a weird clay E.T. alien sitting down. Finally making our way down the stairs to the beautiful garden. You can see these amazing trees. I love being this high up, even though I'm scared of heights. I actually struggled with this shot. I was like shaking so bad. And then Donnie had to step in and record that one. Finally at the garden. And this is so cute because it has ducks. So I left the ducks and I left the cute little like maze for the ducks as well. I mean, like how adorable is that? And then of course, if they get lost, they can just swim underneath it. So they will never actually get lost. But how cute are they? Just look at him. Like look, look at his cute little like flipper standing on the cute little like square thing in the middle. Oh, he is just so perfect. So, oh, hi ducks. They're so cute. We had some beautiful and amazing trees which totally like surprised me, like the trees that they had. Like this view right here, I felt like I was in Japan or China. Like it was just so cool. Very like cherry blossom like. And then this flower right here, I just thought this was so cute. It's just like the cutest little pink perfect flower. So let's just give this cute little flower a nice little shout out. Last art piece, which kind of reminds me of Bilo Juice again in like the way that you probably know. Leaving the Getty, you do get this cool view walking down the stairs. Once again, I did take a picture with my cool little statue in the front. Now we are driving down the famous street that I can't pronounce. I'm gonna try, I think it's like Sebulfida, 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 Sebulfida. Let's go with that. But this is like a famous tunnel that's in like a lot of movies. So I did get to go through it and I thought it was really, really cute. Now, after this, I actually did get in and out and I love in and out. I don't eat fast food, but if I do, that one is like 1000% yes. But honestly, this drive made me feel like Nicole Kidman and all of like the amazing cool movies. So this is cool. I actually definitely felt like I was in like eyes wide shut on this trip. Definitely the vibes of my trip, I will definitely tell you that. But this one was so cool, so great. Love the nighttime drives. And honestly, I thought this was perfect. So, you know, totally loved this. We finally made our way back down to Royal Hills, but right around the street, I was so surprised because they actually had that church, you know? So I know you get like censored or something if you say it here on YouTube. So I'm not gonna say the name of it, but you can all see it on screen. But I was like, whoa, I kind of want to like go to it and take one of those like personality tests just to like, you know, do a video on it. Like, what is it like? So very interesting. Comment down below if I should make a video on that. I did pick up a lot of very cute gifts. However, I will get more into this in my birthday video. But I will show you that these three pouches right here, I did get at the Getty Museum along with the magnets as well. And the thing is, these are so cute. They do fold out into a tote bag. But the thing is, two of these will be for my mom for Christmas. So I do unfold one pretty soon, and you will see that in just a moment. But I did also get this beautiful rock. Well, technically my date got this. Most of this was like very like cute, sentimental gifts. However, like the rock, I just love it so much and I have the perfect spot for it. It actually is in the shape of a heart too. Now for the tote bag, I was genuinely very surprised because these are so much bigger than expected. 
but I really just want like a weird, interesting bag that I could just like take to run errands that's not like high end designer. Just kind of like, I, I don't know. I just wanted like a very like under the radar bag that I thought was cool. And I thought, well, a Fango tote would be perfect. For the Getty Center, I have to say that I was genuinely very pleasantly surprised because I wasn't really sure what I was expecting, but the fact that they had like giant sculptures that were like eight feet tall and all of this like ancient Rome type stuff, I really loved it. I think that was so cool. And to actually see some fan goes in person as well. So those, I'm not gonna lie, that was probably my favorite exhibit was fan go. However, I really did like the Lumen, the art of light and science. So I did think that was really, really cool actually. So I love that, like the 3D prints that I couldn't really show on camera, but those were so cool. Now, I think that I would like to expand my journeys and my horizon of going to art galleries. I think that would be really, really cool, actually. I definitely always wanted to go to the Met in New York. That is such a good museum. And the fashion exhibit is the one that, like, of course, everyone here on my channel would be familiar with. However, I also really want to go to the Getty in Malibu as well, because that one is all specifically Greek. So I love that so much and the fact that it's Greek is just like so perfect and the fact that it's in Malibu is so perfect as well. I actually have a Malibu vlog coming very soon as well. But again, thank you so much for watching. Definitely comment down below what was your favorite art piece and how did you feel about this museum and an art video on my channel. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below and have a great day. Au revoir.